It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap, show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K-Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang lang hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the Brew Review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review. Alright, what's going on guys and gals? And we are back for you. Another fun edition of the Brew Review. And what we got for you today is yet another three from Sam Adams. Oh, Sam Adams. We've been doing this for what? The past, what, five episodes now? Sam Adams. I hate to say it, but we need to take a break from you. You got, you have good beer, but we're just doing too much. Yeah, so we're. this is our last Sam Adams for the season. We're the, just going to let you know that right the now. The final stretch of the Samuel Adams series of season three. Yep. But, hey, what a way to go out. The final of the, well, we have part of the Hopology series, the Noble Pills. Yes, we got the old Fresh Wig Ale. Old Fessy Wig Ale. Finishing it off with a Chocolate Bach. Yeah, and I actually, I gotta give shout-outs to my co-worker Shane. He actually donated me this, and this one, even though we had this one. We did have it, but hey, who cares? So, I gotta give him shouts. Uh, this is so, this is technically a Pilsner. Yeah. So, this actually, you know what? This is the first time. We'll uh, go around with the... We have, for the first time ever, a Pilsner, an Ale, and a Bach. Where's Three the different kinds of oh, beer. Really? All because it's Sam Adams. All because but it's Samuel Adams. We'll go around the Hopology one here, and yeah, as I said, government warning, we know that, don't drink when you're pregnant, yada yada, 4.9% content, so it's it's average, we'll go on to this one, and that is 5.9%, .9. and it's got a cool little package, you got your typical Sam Adams cap on the top, and then we move on to the, the Chocolate Buck, the Boston Beer Company. This one, however, has a different cap. Usually, oh, yeah. Usually, Sam Adams has a blue cap. Oh, this wow. has a black cap, so it must be very special. It is also it is five point eight percent. So you can see it's, it's got the date code across the side. Yada yada. Well, this is five point nine, so that's just a half a point, or not a half point. Just point, just a, point. like a tenth. Yeah, a tenth of a point. And that one's four point nine. So what we're dealing with here isn't really all that strong. So pil history time. This has yeah. actually history. Pilsners, Pay attention, hailing, kids. hailing from the Czech town of Plez, were a revelation in 1842 as golden crisp lagers, the likes of which Europe has never <coughs> seen before. <laughs> For our unique take on this classic style, we use Bohemian spring barley. Bohemian Rhapsody? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. And all five noble hops for a citrusy hop character and bright, refreshing flavor. Cheers. So this has five, all five noble hops in it. What's a noble hop? I don't know. But we're going to find out. Yeah, so we learn something every day here at the Brewview. So as usual, as tradition, we're going to do the cap test, the body and head test, the drink test, the draft test, all that good stuff. Yes. So without further ado, let's get started. So, you may do the honor. I guess sir. as tradition, we kind of like to do the weakest one first. Yeah, so, we'll do the noble put. We'll you may do the honor, here. sir. And, and as we know... I should fucking know this by now. <laughs> yes. And we've been... What, we've done, uh, what, maybe 12 of their beers in the past probably five episodes? Sam Adams ain't gonna be twist off. I think they'd yeah. make a lot more money if they did. Yeah, listen up. We want twist offs. Yes. And he smells... What the hell was that shitty one that we had done in Phoenix? Oh, uh, Latitude... It was like Latitude 43 or Latitude something. 43, yeah. The really hoppy one. It kind of sort of reminds me of that. Like, grassy. It's very grassy. As far as the smell goes. Oh, yeah. Now, again, I'm not going to lie. I have had this. I haven't, so it's my first if, time. If memory serves me correct... The smell is deceiving. I think it doesn't taste as hoppy. But oh, I could oh, be wrong. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. What's the Idaho list? Falls Gold 2001 Award winner. It won something in Idaho? What? Idaho, Utaho. <laughs> Utaho? All right. Let's Idaho. move on. Oh, no, Utaho. <laughs> Samuel okay. Adams, Hopology Collection, Noble Pills. Let's try it. Let's try it. And we'll do the flavor burst. Yeah, flavor burst it. Okay, so it's good enough I can stone face it. <laughs> grass. Gra really? There, I thought it didn't it, taste it's, that it's bad. It's kind of like a grass slash waste. Now, see, but maybe I, that's just me. But it's not as bad as that yeah, latitude. Well, it, how overly strong is it? Because I remember it's not, it's not that bad. Okay, I do give it some points. The aftertaste does not stick around. Yeah, I don't know. So it's it's really not all that bad. It's just that initial shot when you first open it. Yeah, um... I mean, yeah, there's an aftertaste, but it doesn't really stick around long. If... If there's such a thing as a weak ale, this would be it. You know, not as grassy, not as hot. Ooh, after burp is good. As the other ones, like this, this would be like your weak version of an IPA. We kind of had an odd one with an IPL one week. Oh, the pale lager. Yeah, I think we had it pretty recently. Yeah, uh, give me youngling, youngling, youngling. Summon youngling to the rescue. We're gonna see what this looks like in a glass. <laughs> And it's very light. Yellow. Yeah, kind of, sort of. And drop the front. Look at that you can frothy see, head. Yeah, you can see there's about a centimeter there, but it's very thick. Now see, if this was That up is here, very light. If this, if this, the marker was up to here, that'd be a perfect head on a beer. But, but. Very carbonated. That's, the, we'll see. that's the color of any kind of IPA or. It kind of has a slight bit of champagne color to it. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Doesn't smell like champagne. Doesn't taste like champagne either. Tastes like weast. <clears throat> it does have a strong afterburp, I'll say that. But, once again, glass it. You gotta glass it? Glass it. Alright, let's do the glass smell. I think the head's blocking it, but. Yeah. Glass it. But it's good. Compared to like, like you said, latitude, oh, yeah. latitude oh, forty-eight, yeah. or any kind of IPA or pale ale, this one's kind of weak. Okay, this is one of these. It might sound kind of odd. It grows on you. It does. The like, I don't know if it's the fact that I just glassed it, or if I'm getting used to it. But it's one of those that just kind of grows on you as you drink it. Because I got this in a pack, and I think it it's, came it's with. Like when, it's like when you first hear a song and you think it might suck, and then it just starts rocking, you know. Like uh, Michael Bolton or Phil Collins or... <laughs> <laughs> Who's Michael Bolton? Who's Phil Collins? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, well... It's kind of like listening to uh, Welcome Home Sanitarium. And it, starts off, and it starts off mellow, and then, you know, as the song keeps rocking out, you just keep drinking more, and it's like, Damn, this is good! Sanitarium! I like that song. Can't beat some old school Metallica. But anyway, back to the beer. We're going to Old Fessywig Ale. Whatever yes. Fessywig is. Well, I'm sure it'll tell us up here. So, Old Fessywig Ale is in the tradition of special seasoned beers for the winter holiday. So, it's a winter beer. So, and, yeah. And, and we're kind of going into the summer here as we record this. And takes its name from <clears throat> the festive character in Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. What? This is a hearty, rich, brownish red ale... That gets its color from large amounts of specialty malts. These roasted caramel and chocolate malts give it a very full body and smooth taste that's then spiced with a touch of cinnamon, ginger, and orange. Happy holidays. So, you know something? When you know it's weird? It might be close to the holidays when this airs. <laughs> it might be. So, you never know. Happy so, holidays, yeah, ladies Yeah, so and consider this a little preview, if you will, here at the Brewview. But, yeah, looking at this, you wouldn't think... We're not behind. We're ahead. Unless you take the time to read that, you would never know this is a holiday beer. You can kind of see it, though, now that, now that you read it. But there, there's no sign of it being Christmassy. No. Oh, oh well. It just... And, of course, yeah, you need 
Mr. Youngling. Yeah, it's twisting, but it's not. It's taunting you. It's like, ha ha ha, you can't open me, ha ha ha. <laughs> I know, we're goofy as hell. Uh, okay. Calgary, Calgary gold. Wow. Is that Alberta, Canada? That's Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Eh? They so you're telling me that they're awarding an American beer? They beat out the Canadians. I thought can, I thought Canada had a standard when it came to beer. So an American beer actually won a Canadian award? The, the Canadian purity law is like the German purity law. If their beer sucks, they shoot you. I smell the spice in it. I smell it. Uh, it's kind of like an Oktoberfest, almost. Whoa. You know, you could almost mistake this for, like, a pumpkin-type beer. Kind of. A little bit. A little bit. bit. There's a hint of it there. The, when cinnamon, you smell it. the cinnamon smell is in there. What, it's brewed with cinnamon, ginger, and orange peel. It's definitely a unique smell. I'll so give now, it that. Now I'm kind of interested to see what it tastes like. Let's find out. With his finger up again. Uh -huh. For the hundred and, what, I guess, 44th time. Shit, I lost count. Yes, well, it's definitely people. not. It's definitely not a pumpkin beer, but this damn near could double as an Oktoberfest. You serious? You cereal? Mm. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me it's definitely a fall slash early winter beer? You hand me this in a glass, I would say it's Oktoberfest. Yeah. All right, so try that. Yeah, send me items. Oh, Old Fizzwig Ale. Fizzywig. I think I said Fizzywig. Fizzywig. Anyway, let's try it. It's a Charles Dickens character. We've never read Charles Dickens. I'm sorry. Or maybe we have. All right. Flavor burst. Flavor bursted. It's good, but... Yeah, it's definitely your fall-like beer. Does it taste like an Oktoberfest? Am I wrong? A little bit, yeah. I can taste a little bit Not of it. Not like a complete Oktoberfest, but damn near... But I tell you what, I don't, I don't taste the pumpkin pie. No, it's not pumpkin pie at all. Woo! Old Bay chips. <laughs> Holy shit! They stuck around that. I long? still have the aftertaste from those Old Bay chips that we did months and months and months ago. Yeah, they they were that good. Spoiler alert: We did that episode tonight. Yeah, but it aired like what five months ago it or something. Aired, yeah, it aired like almost a year ago. See, Side Show Saturday, we just do them as we see them. Brewview, we we kind of hoard the them. The twins were born by then. Yeah, and so was Ava. Shout well, out to you kids at, if you're watching okay. later. I wish I had a an October. Yeah, fan. you can see we had almost two centimeters of head there, and it dissipated a little bit. It said it was brownish red. Yeah, it's a little bit darker. Nice head on it. Very nice head. But like I said, I wish I had an October fest to compare this to. There, there is carbonation in that too, a little bit. Not, not like the last one, but you I will say better, you definitely get a better smell. Here, I'll let you do the the, the draft test first. All right, so we'll smell the drafter. Definitely, I'm gonna swish it here. Yeah, swish it, swirl. Swish that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, swish it. Oh, oh yeah, swish it good. Swish it good. What are you gonna drink up here? All right. Oh, just, oh! Thanks, thanks. Leave me with the three inches of head on there. <laughs> like minute. any other Sam Adams, you gotta glass it. Glass it. It is a requirement that you glass a Sam Adams beer. He left me nothing but head. That's what she and said. And not in a good way. Uh, Dude, that's incest. Yeah, that is weird. Isn't it? Okay, that was dumb. Again, you hand me that in a glass, I would think it's an Oktoberfest. It was good though. I liked there, it. It's good. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I wouldn't say I'd buy it every every week, but it was good. No, no. Again, with an Oktoberfest or even like one of these fall beers, you don't sit down and drink a case of it. I think Matt even brought this up with Yingling. You yeah. don't drink a case of it. You. Drink. Or no, he said this about Harp. You do that with Harp too, and an Oktoberfest. You don't sit down and drink a whole case of Oktoberfest. No, PBR is what that's for. Yeah, you drink two or three, like maybe dinner, and then you switch to something lighter. Yep. That's just me. 
Now this is the one I want to try because yeah. All right, hold on. I gotta read it. I gotta read it. I do like the packaging on it, by the way. And, that, and they got the unique cap. Samuel Adams. Oh, I'm burping. Chocolate Bach combines our carefully roasted malts with a robust flavor of premium dark nibs from Ecuador. Nibs. What the hell are nibs? Nipples. Not nipples. I do like the fact nibs. they actually put a different cap on it for one side. Uh, we slowly aged the brew on a bed of cocoa to impart bold flavors of rich chocolate and smooth velvety finish. Ew, yes. See, this this would be a good comparison to the chocolate weast that we had earlier. It's, they're not like the exact same because I read. The I mean, this is a book. I read the comments in the Angry Orchard video. People gave us shit for trying to compare Red's Apple Ale with Angry Orchard. Like. I remember. Yeah, but see, the commenter missed the point. He missed the point for the fact that we were comparing apples. Yeah, it wasn't. We were here. Comparing, we're comparing chocolates. Yeah, we weren't. We're not comparing the ale with a hard cider. We know it's a totally different thing. We wanted to see which one tasted more like apples. Yeah, that was our point. Okay. Yeah, but we welcome diversity here. It is if if you're gonna bring us an argument, at least back it up with a point. Well, and don't. Well, they didn't. They weren't a dick about it either. No, no, no. They were cool. They, they were cool. They didn't say... I like, forget you, the screen name. Like, you guys are morons. It, no. That's not what we were Not like the guy to. who called us twats on the uh, yeah. <laughs> one episode. So, when we do kind of the the side-by-side -side comparison... We will do that, by the way. We're going to head... Spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah. That, that It might be next season, we though. We do have a, 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 cho a chocolate box and a chocolate wheat. Yeah, we have another one that used to install. We just want to see which one tastes more like chocolate. Which I'm guaranteeing the chocolate wheat will. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out there. Uh, right, but I so haven't tried this yet, so I can't... Well, go ahead. Just go ahead. I guess I'll do the honors. And, and you can't even. Just, well, yeah. it's turning. It is turning, but you know... It's what? hissing. Are you going to be like, I got this! <laughs> I give up. Oh, you're not going to be like uh, Peg Leg. And be like, well, I got this. we actually have an opener now. Yeah. With peg leg, we didn't have shit. We we well, we had that little. Uh, and oh, crap. oh, I tried to read what was on that cap, but Damn there was my. no awards on it, so they didn't win nothing yet. What? Yeah, well, like, that's see balls. Yeah, no awards. So the first Sam Adams cap, it didn't have an award. Sweet baby Jesus! It's sweet baby Jesus. Or it's more of a slight hint of it. Like a slight, not. Yeah, it's not as strong as Sweet Baby Jesus. But you don't smell like peanut butter. No peanut butter, no. But I mean, it's just there's a slight hint of the Sweet Baby Jesus in this. Huh. All thing. right. Anyway. Let's go ahead and try it here. Yeah. There he is. It certainly smells dark. Yeah, like a stout dark. Mm hmm Rather than a bock. Which means I might actually enjoy it. I don't know. We might. Well, I'll tell you what, I've been surprised some, uh, before. Do the honors on this one. Thank you, man. So, uh, Sammy Adams, chocolate buck. Let's try it. Because, again, it's a buck, too. It's not a, a stout or a porter. It's something different. The buck. Okay, clear burst. It's, it definitely has a stout taste. It's a stout, though? Like, stout, stoutish. Stoutish taste, yeah. But it's a Bach. Mm-hmm. Huh. But, it, yeah, it's it's definitely in that category. Right. Like, your chalky coffee flavor. You can, yeah, it's a chalky-like flavor. It's, you can see it's dark as hell. <laughs> That's why I brought out the special glass. I don't mind it, though. I've had better as far as dark beers go, but it's good. Um, I don't know if you got it, but your first initial taste, you get a tiny little bit of chocolate. I didn't taste it. No? Didn't smell it? Nothing. I don't... There's no hint of chocolate in it for me. But maybe the glasser will tell differently. We shall see. But yeah, like you said, definitely stout. Not as strong, but again, I'm developing a major liking for stouts. Yeah. 
Now, had we tried this back in season one in the early goings, <laughs> we'd have dumped this bitch. It, like, it, it would have ended up like Java Head for the first time around. See, I have an aftertaste of chocolate, just a tiny little bit. I don't. But that's just me. So, right off the bat, we know the chocolate weed's going to taste better than this. Right. At least more like chocolate, but... Oh, well. Oh! Very 30 dark. weight! Yeah, definitely. 30 weight. And notice how there's not that much head coming out of the bottle. I was... Eh, it's there? about a half inch, maybe. But there's plenty in the glass, as you see. Yeah, look dark. at the carbonation. Ooh, a little too much carbonation. Oh, go. sorry about that. There we go. Now we can see, uh... This phone is kind of screwing me up. Because the lens is actually off to the side rather than the center. We A little behind the scenes here at 96 and whip. My one battery ended up going through the wash and shorted out. So I screwed it up. Notice that we didn't have to tell you that. But we just feel like we didn't need to. Right. But we the camera admit, still works. We admit to our screw-ups. That's right, because people like it that way. Because Hollywood can blow it. And look, the head is still staying. Isn't that crazy? Definitely a stout, then. Because your darker beers, the head will stay on there. I mean, that looks more like a stout rather than a buck. Yeah, I wouldn't call this a buck. I'd call it a stout, <coughs> like you said at the beginning. It, it's right, nowhere so... near a buck. You realize we've been, we've been on the air for 20 minutes? I know. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hi! Uh, I forgot to say that. Yeah. Hey, we were on the air for 40 minutes for our very first Sam Adams, so it's only natural. I don't mind it, though. No, I really like it. No. I really do like it. No chocolate anywhere. That I will disagree I'm with you with. I tasted it. I didn't, and I'm kind of disappointed in that. Again, so. it's, I guess, a preferred taste, but I did taste a tiny little bit of chocolate. Taste buds are totally different. Right. Now, okay, let's talk ratings. Let's. This one here. I don't know. I'm not a fan of the grass, but, to, I mean, to play straight up critic, it's good if you like your Wiest beers. Mm -hmm. But personally, you know, I'm, I'm going to say a three. If offered to me, I'd drink it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. Right. This one here, I'm going to say four. Definitely recommend six pack. Three. That four. there, uh, if it would have tasted like it said, it would have been a five. However, to me, it lied. I'm just going to go four on that one. So, three, four, four. Three, four, and four. Three, four, four. So, about an average of about three and a half, four. So, Sam Adams, you didn't do too bad in this round. Yeah. Uh, again, very weak IPA. Like, borderline very weak IPA. Even though it's a Pilsner, I'm going to give it like, I'm going to give it three and a half. I yeah. like it. So, you're kind of bumping it up a half. Yeah. This, damn near just should have been an Oktoberfest. Oh, I agree. But they called it the, what, the Fizzy Wig. Fizzy Wig. I gotta give it props for the Fizzy Wig part of it. That's well, you know, technically Christmas is kind of near fall, so. Yeah. Uh, four for that one. This, I don't care what you said. I tasted chocolate. But. Bolt to the shit. I didn't. <laughs> I like dark beers, though, now. I, I've gotten over now saying I've developed a taste for it. I borderline like dark beers. That's my thing now. I'll give it a five. So, so you're going to say case worthy on this one. Oh, yeah. So three and a half. What did I say? The four? Four. Five. Wow. I, like I mean, no, it wasn't bad, but I just was disappointed that I didn't taste the chocolate. Well, again, I mean, taste buds are different. Uh, I tasted it. I just said right there at that beginning... And, and those of you in the comments, I'm sure you can beg to differ, too. It was like a like a snap, like a flash of chocolate. And the rest of it was kind of dark. Didn't have it. I didn't have the chocolatey. No, yeah. Nowhere. I mean, nowhere to, to each, be found. To each his own. But, I, but it, to me, it was like a slight version of Sweet Baby Jesus. So, and, and uh, you know, we're kind of getting used to all this. We're, like we're sweet, developing tastes. I, I want to find more Sweet Baby Jesus. Yeah, maybe we can do a return on it there someday. I like Sweet Baby Jesus. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this finale on Sam Adams. We were, we're not doing any more Samuel Adams. <laughs> not this season. Maybe they'll probably make a return next season. Not next for season. a while, anyway. We gotta, we gotta give some other people some love. Yeah, we've been doing this for, what, the last month now? At month least. and a half? But hey, Shit. they have a lot of beers. In fact, 
I was the dumbass that wanted to do an entire season of Sam Adams. Well, we pretty much did there the last stretch, so. Yeah. But all in all, Sam Adams as a whole, recommend them. Yeah. There are, I mean, there might have been maybe two or three beers of theirs I didn't like of the maybe 15 of them we tried. Uh, as a beer drinker, I don't think you can, you cannot look at Samuel Adams' whole library of beers and not find something that you like. Yeah. You you can find something in there that you will enjoy, no matter what it is. Whether it's what the hell is that one that we really fell in love with? Is that that the, the, the cherry? Oh, the cherry weast. Yes. Oh, my God. As a matter of fact, my last couple trips down to West Virginia, I'd stop off at A&A and get me a bottle. He went to AA and got a cherry weast. <laughs> Isn't that ironic that I stop at AA to get beer? My name is <laughs> Dog. I'm an alcoholic. I'll take that cherry weast right there. All right, so there you go. We're only, we've been on the air for 25 minutes, so All I right, guess we it's time up. we wrap it. And I hope you enjoyed this episode on Sam Adams, Noble Pills, Old Frizzlewig Ale, if I read it, and Chocolate Buck. And, yeah, stay tuned next week, and we'll be back.